and uh, you, 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 you are listening to Jolt Radio. Val is here. Time capsule is about to start. A little delayed on the month and the day, but we're having a good time. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. If you're in Alapata, come by. Just hit it. Let's go.
llegó la hora de tu cuerpo Vamos al boliche a mover tu cuerpo Nena ya llegó la hora de tu cuerpo Vamos al boliche a mover tu cuerpo
get him and I get him with the law. Get him with the law, cause I get him with the law. Get him and I get him and I get him with the law. Get him with the law, cause I get him with the law. Get him and I get him and I get him with the law. Get him with the law, cause I get him with the law. Get him and I get him and I get him with the law. Get him with the law, cause I get him with the law. Get him and I get him and I get him with the law. Get him with the law, cause I get him with the law. Get him and I get him and I get him with the law. Get him with the law, cause I get him with the law. Get him and I get him and I get him with the law. Get him with the law, cause I get him with the law.
with Miss Al. Live on Jolt Radio. She doesn't want to talk. But she's playing well tonight. We're still here out of Jolt Radio. Come by if you're if you're around. Slow. Oh, 
Time Capsule, Miss Val is here. I think you're on number five. Hello? Okay. Oh, oh there you go. I'm on two. Hey. What's yo, up? Yo, what's, Val, what song was that? Was you get to here? hear the... Um, That was... Fuck. Let me go read it. Ooh. <laughs> uh, puts me on blast. T- TBA. Future Sound. You get to hear the DJ after she did her whole set. It, right was, a, it was a dope song. Okay, wait, I gotta tell the people. You gotta tell the people, bro. It's a song called More I Like It by Adolf Stern. I like it. Um, no I, pun intended. The more I want, the more I like it. Yeah. So what uh, what you got on your mind? I don't know. I kind of just uh, had... Yeah. Happy the last Friday. two days were really fun. Let's say that. <laughs> Happy Friday. What Happy fucking Friday. It's fucking Friday, bro. Yeah. We're out here in Jolt Radio holding it down. Holding it down, John Jolt in Orlando. O-town. No, I think he's going to be. O Town, stay down. O Town, stay down. Uh, Shouts out to John if he's listening. I doubt it. Unlikely. He doesn't. Not even John listens to his own radio station. <laughs> uh, he, I he, call do, he actually do, he actually does <laughs> I call he does listen to his own radio station, but he, I mean, if he's like traveling and stuff like that, I mean, I doubt he's. He's such a yeah yeah. He's yeah. such a freak that he just like <laughs> everywhere he goes. He's he like, is a Guys, freak. He is a freak. Set, listen right now, all fam the time. Jam. He's out fam jamming. That's it. the good thing about radio. You don't have to be all the time. You don't have to. You know, you catch it when you want to catch it. That's the thing. And yeah. we make the recordings, so yeah. You know, um, you catch it when you have your own time. Either way, it's available for you guys on yeah. YouTube. I'm talking you- louder. <laughs> and talk, talk louder. Talk louder. He says. But yo, how's uh the new year going for you guys? Pretty good. Well, I feel like January has been so long. Really? It's like the fiftieth day of January right now. It's the longest month of the year almost. Why why does it always feel that way? Taxes. <laughs> it's kind of flown by for me. I don't know. Holidays. Really? I yeah. mean, I feel Val. It's been kind of slow. For yeah. me, at least, because I feel like everything's been going by fast, and we're on, like, what, the 26th? We're almost done. Yeah, we're almost there. You know, we're in, uh, what they, people like to say, Aquarius season. Yeah, I think after January, the year just flies by, so let's get ready. That's what's up. That's what's up. Do you guys have any resolutions for this year, or just Hell no. Hogwash? Same year, same bitch. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. What New year, you? same me. Let's go. Oh. What about you, Mark? <laughs> nah, I got nothing. 
Fuck it. I got no goals. No Mark, goals. Mark's doing dry no January. No, that's so. Yeah, you did yeah, that. That's, that's, that's easy, <laughs> that's though. That's already big. That's easy, that, though. Congrats, I don't like congrats. that. I mean, it's dry January because everyone gets too poor to afford drinks after the holidays. I mean, but good for them. That's part of it. That's a little part of it, yeah. I, mean, I think it's a New Year New Year resolution kind of thing. It's like, damn, I went so hard. This is a reset button. Yeah. That's nice. I think you do it every year, right? Yeah, yeah. It's nice. So what do you I think I think last year what? uh I bought some shitty uh non alcoholic IPA. You Why it torture shitty? yourself it's called like that? Sober Carpenter. Is no it way. Shitty? That's the brand. Yeah. <laughs> I highly recommend I don't like the plug stuff, but I actually like the Heineken Zero Zeros. I think they're good. <laughs> oh, I knew you were going to say you that. You love your medium and dry. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, for the al- the non-alcohol beers, they're pretty good. Okay, I respect oh, that. Oh, wait. So, wait. Let's get back to the fact that we're doing Time Capsule right now, and Val was like, let's get on the on the mics. Val, what were you playing tonight? And, like, what, why, and where did it come oh, from? Man. Where did that vibe come from? Because it was hundred questions. Sick. It was just cool. It, where, there, where, how it, did you... There wasn't really How did you think about it? What song was, led you into that kind of vibe so i downloaded like five tracks ten five ten and i didn't feel like playing vinyl today so had those and then whatever else is on the usb combination of stuff i've downloaded in the past and a lot of tony pizzicato's Tracks. But was there like a, a specific track that was like the first one that you were like, I'm going to base it off this kind of sound? No, not no? at all. I went, did have a, I went rando. Really? I'm it glad feels, it sounded cohesive, it did, though. It did it sound cohesive. Very. Yeah. Cool. I'm it glad. sounded very thought out, which is... Yeah. I mean, I think it usually goes based off my mood, so... So like, it was an indie mood, mood is was, robot. My mood was that. Whatever I was playing was my mood. I call that indie new dance. That in that sounds very on point. Sure. I'll take it. You want to put labels? Is on that it? a real? Is that a real genre? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. Indie new dance. <laughs> we can make up. We can make up <laughs> genres. Indie new dance new with dance. N-U. N-U. Exactly. Yeah, new dance. exactly. N-U. I did play some new disco shit earlier. So N U disco. New yeah, disco. exactly. Okay. I like For it. those of you that that don't know, it's N U disco. N U. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad we're doing this on a Friday. I love. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wish there was more shows on Friday. Um, we had a time because I'm always in mood to go out or something like that, but not really. Like, go then out. there's no shows on Friday because people are like, "Oh, well, I want to go out on Friday too." So, I don't want to be doing my show, but I love hanging out here. So, if somebody has a cool show or has something to do, it's like even better. I got to talk to John about moving my show. Why? I mean, I have class at but nine. Why? I have, my, I have class at 9, so I have to like either change it to 10 on Tuesday or, or just maybe do a Friday. Mahogany get lit on a Friday. Mahogany Fridays? Yo. Funny. We already got a spirit of the month. I, we, a spirit? Like a, like a like booze? A, like a booze. We did, this past month was uh, uh, Flor de Caña. I'm trying to, think, trying to think about next month. I was thinking, what Have you done most of them already? You got to rotate, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, we always rotate. We're joking around and thinking about bringing back Incredible Hulks. If you guys remember that? Oh, yeah. That's where you mix a hypnotic with a Hennessy. I okay, kind of do like hypnotic. It's really sweet, but insane. you but can just drink that shit on the rocks. Yeah, but I don't but know. But it's like a nostalgic thing, huh? Yeah, yeah I used to drink that in high school. Two thousand. <laughs> that's what's like 2000 nostalgic drink. Yeah. I mean, no one really drinks it now. but we're, Yeah, I haven't we're seen jo- it. We're joking around. We should bring back the Incredible Hulk. Why not? I mean, but does it turn green because yeah. it's the hypnotic is blue, right? Yeah, and uh, and you put Gatorade. What did you say? No, it's uh, Hennessy, Hennessy, and, and that makes it green. Yeah, when you get a little chemistry for you guys, you know, some mixology, yeah. some science. You know, what I really like this drink that I'm drinking. It's called Two Chicks. Let me try it. <laughs> try it. It's like uh, vodka seltzer and has some pear in it. Shout out to the pear. I love like, the idea of putting pear because you never would think of. It's a the least. It's not common flavor. It's, it's not the very least common least marketable. Yeah. It's like the fat apple. Oh, hey, apple. we got the pear. The oblong apple. That's lovely. Right? Hell oh, yeah. Now I got to try this stuff. Dude, try it, dude. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, plus, it's woman-owned. All right, so what's going on? Hey, yo. Um, anything going on around Miami? Oh, Open Dex is Sunday, guys. One, one year, year. Aniver- one year anniversary. Hey. One year. Oof, and I gotta record the promo right, like at, right after this. Is, Let's uh, do it. Is Cool yeah. Lewis gonna make an appearance, or he's still being? Yes, dad? he's gonna make he an appearance. To. Yes, okay. he's not gonna stay. He's you, 
it goes from three. It's on Sunday, January twenty eighth. It goes from three to midnight officially, and Lewis is gonna be here from three so you guys to are, not too late. You're changing the the time, not no, no. going till twenty four hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, officially it's three to midnight. Okay, that sounds but doable. Better. I have a. I I try to let everybody play, so you know if you stay long enough, you will be able to play, and I will stay long enough too. Cool. Yeah. I don't, love it. Don't kill Rafa. I love open decks. I'm doing my last open decks at Gramps next Wednesday. If yeah, anyone promo. wants to come. Promo. 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 So, Mark, you're gonna come, right? I'll be there. I'll be dropping some wax. Drop that wax. Dude. Hot wax, baby. That's what's up. Oh, yeah, I might show up. Yeah, please. Everybody come. And that's out. when uh, dry January ends for. We're, well, that, that would be five, like a few Marky days Mark. before, but I think we're it's, just going to pretend it's that you did. It's the 31st. So it's, oh, it yeah. is? Yeah, it's perfect. Hell yeah. So you're going to have fun with Mark. Yes. Which Mark is a very fun person to hang Mark out with. Mark is very fun, very lovely. Yeah. Shouts out to Mark. Maybe not on dry January, but. <laughs> I don't think Mark knows. Well, I think Mark doesn't hang out with us during dry January because we're bad influences. I mean, and influence, not about But bad. also good influences. We're just influences. I'll just say, I saved a lot of something. money this month. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> say that. You, you gotta strike, you gotta yeah, start like, really low. Like, for man, what? <laughs> like, I didn't go to up. bars, I didn't buy booze. How much richer do you feel? I feel like I have a stock portfolio now. <laughs> Rich in money and, but... Poor, poor, in, poor in spirit. Poor in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> poor in spirit. Poor in spirits, get it? It's, ah. a, it's a, you know, it's a juggle on those kind of things. Cause, and there's, a, like, uh, I don't want to get too deep into it, but yes, uh, it's not about the drinking the alcohol. It's about just kind of... It's the aftermath. It's the, it's the social... <laughs> exactly. You're going out, you're going to see people, you're doing all this stuff, and if you're... If you become completely dry, then it's like, I don't know. You're not in the mood to do those things as much. And you're also not like matching the vibe of the people, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that if you sit in the room long enough, it, in my opinion, it's, it's happened to me before. Like, when you first get there, you're like, oh, I'm not in the vibe. But your own personality around the thing, it kind of loosens up and it, and it, are you and sure you about s- that? Yeah, I am kind of sure about that. I've I've felt it before, and it's you do kind of. It just takes you a little longer to loosen up, um, okay. but you end you end up being like, oh, like you just adapt. You adapt. That's how it works. Like Unless that. you're like one of those people who gets bitter that like, oh, why why aren't they like me? But I don't I don't see Mark being like that. Who's bitter? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I've been sober before. I mean, these guys. I, I was sober, sober once. You're you're one of the best examples because you come over here and like. Uh, me? Sp- no, no, no. <laughs> you are the worst example. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, Hiro comes over here all the time and he's like, nah, not doing anything tonight. And he can hang as hard as anybody. Yeah, but then Hiro, when he goes hard, he goes hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm There's saying, there's no like, in between. He knows the feeling of being able to. These two chicks. He knows the feeling of being able to hang out um, without. Sure. sure and sure. and to like get into the mood without having to, you Thank know, you, it's, it's without yeah. Thank you. I just might pass out on the couch if anything. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I've seen I've seen Hiro do that. I think that's a, a rite of passage here at Jolt yeah. Radio. The rule is, if and we have can. a new couch. Have you yeah. have you broken that one in Hell already? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Nice little nap. No, exactly. The rule is, take your shoes off. No one can fuck with you. Yeah, that's that's True. all the no, it's serious business. It's like, I'm <laughs> actually sleeping. Unless John has a Sharpie, just be beware. Oh, oh, dude. I mean, he, he, he had his shoes on. To, he had his shoes he on. He was trying to do that to Rafa the other night at my house. <laughs> and I was like, no, dude. I'm what? hiding all oh, the Oh, he Sharpies. wanted to do it? He wanted to draw on you, yeah. I would have laughed. Yeah, uh, I was like, maybe it would have been better to do it to Rafa. I would have laughed. Ian. Um, yeah, Ian's not Ian, having Ian, that. He's not he having he that. actually it. did it to Ian. I, I was here, but laugh. he had his shoes on. Oh, you were here. I was here, and I, he had his shoes on. He was like, I'm passing out. I was like, well. You had your up. shoes on. You had your shoes on, dude. And, you should never, and he did it inside the studio. And he he was sleeping out. right here behind us, like in this couch. Maybe we should do a no shoes uh, pause here. Nah. No, sho- no shoes inside the studio? No way. What an Asian? That'd be weird. Stinky. It'd be stinky. It'd be stinky. Yeah. You know what I like? It's already stinky sometimes. Talking about shoes off, I like the the new wood. That we right. Have. Yeah. We got maybe new wood floors here in the I studio. And a door. Imply, yeah, I think we should imply the no shoes things to keep the the wood like intact. But you no, have the, to wear socks. Vinyl. Yeah, socks, socks, clean socks. We have a basket of socks. Yeah. Clean your socks, bro. Clean your feet, bro. And I mean, we have somebody at the door smelling feet. 
<laughs> and they take pictures. <laughs> You're not allowed. And they put a pictures. Shoes are not. You gotta stay outside. Yeah. What about those like uh, those like mesh uh, kind of like a mask material you put on your shoes when you enter like a. Uh, oh, you when you buy shoes. Oh, like those plastic wraps that you put over your shoes. Yeah, like we enter like an uh, old building that's oh, like, yeah. historic or something, so you don't mess up the floors. Like a museum or some Ooh. shit. Museum. Ooh, I like like, like Versailles or something. Dude, nobody would actually do that. Too much garbage. Way too that, much garbage. That, so much yeah, waste. So much that's waste. true. And we all look like we're in a hospital. Like, yeah. Why do you guys all look like a hospital at, at a radio station? I mean, there's a lot going on now, so we got to be. There's some old ass carpets at uh, Vizcaya that I have to do that when I'm shooting in there. Oh, really? They tell you so to weird. put them on? Yeah. They make you put on the little plastic joints? Yeah. Plastic joints. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. You don't want to. Plastic joints. At a place like that, at an old museum. like you, Some of those carpets are like 200 years old. Yeah, and they don't want to. Yeah. Pain in the ass if you went in there and just started trudging crap into there, destroying this priceless art. Uh, yeah, exactly. Rug. Oh man, I can't imagine that. But everybody looks like they have little booties on when they're walking <laughs> around. <laughs> How do you avoid the influencers inside there, bro? There's influencers pulling I, up to this guy. I, 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 well, yeah, dude. Oh. I, it really? is a it's very a oh, pretty I, place. To take I, so I, I luckily work across the street, um, in another building. It's like the the, the village, old museum, the village where like the like the old workers used to live. Oh, so yeah. That's where my office is. So I'm not on the main premises like all the time, but I have been like shooting, and like you'll just see people posing, and I'm, I'm no joke. Like 15 minutes trying to get the perfect shot. It's like oh, wait for the wind, so my hair blows right by the sea to get this perfect oh, shot. Yeah, I've done <laughs> that. Just, just shit like that. It's like, I've done photo shoots like that. It's not. I mean, usually you have to pay like a license, and especially if you want to bring props and stuff like that. I think I mean, it's mostly on the cell phone, so there's no uh, no restrictions on that. No, I brought a camera. B. Oh no, I've seen a couple of those with yeah, the camera. I, I've got thing you have to pay like 125 or 200 or something like that. It's lucrative. There's always the King Sinatra photos, wedding oh, photos. Yeah. yeah, dude. I mean, that's a little bougie. Imagine we we actually did King Sinatra photos like around the neighborhood you grew up. I thought in. you were gonna <laughs> say if we did it here. <laughs> it's so basic. That would be hilarious, dude. That would be hilarious. Yeah. Hey, mom, I want to be a DJ. I was, I was leaving today. They were setting up for a wedding. I was like, damn. Perfect. It's an expensive ass wedding. I mean. Yeah. How do you feel about weddings, Val? As, as uh, I have fun of them. About weddings in general, or, or like getting whole, married, uh, married, no, 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 married. No, 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 not married. Just getting like the whole party thing. I. That's the part that's kind of enticing to me. Just like a rager. Doing a party, doing it the way you want to, uh, but m- getting married is like, I, I, I don't want to get married. <laughs> you go to court. For <laughs> <that>. <laughs> The party can be very fun, especially as a guest. I wouldn't want to be the host. It sounds like a mission. Hosting parties is always a fucking. Oh no, mission. I like hosting I normal get, parties. I get really overwhelmed. I don't like. I wouldn't want to host my own wedding. Well, I would do it, but I don't it just it, sounds have, like such a they have fun ordeal. They're like you're getting pulled by like a billion people to talk. Yeah, to and exactly. You exactly. Yeah, it's like I don't think they have fun. I mean, but I like going. That's where you have to do the invites. See, like a lot of people. I've noticed a lot of people are minimizing their. Like, Weddings. Yeah, it's a cost of fortune to do anywhere. You, you know what's crazy? You know, shout out to Nonchalant John. He recently got married. Oh, did he? Yeah, he got married. Oh, okay. He got make he got married at Books Paradiso. Paradiso. Paradise? Really? Paradise, yeah, dude. Oh, that's cute. That it's, sounds really like cozy. Yeah. You went? He does the show nah, nah, Butterscotch he told, here on Jolt Radio for anybody listening. And he told me th- that he told me how much like uh, it's it's cool I didn't get invited. I'm I'm the <laughs> same as Val. Marriage? <laughs> oh, you you gotta you better shotgun wedding me, you feel me? But <laughs> uh, he told me how much he spent, and I was like, man, good for you, bro. It wasn't bad. He spent, uh, like, uh, the rent of... Uh, like one month's rent. One month's rent. <laughs> that's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing for... In yeah. this economy, that sounds fine. In this economy? Yeah. Hey guys, got, yeah. You guys got anything going on tonight besides this? Nope. This is this is my, my big Friday night what out. What do you mean besides this? So this is it. This is it. I mean, I want to go to a rager, bro. I'm not going to the, not the rager that's happening right here across the studio. Dude, yeah, well, what's up with that? I walked in and I was like, dude, I moved my car because last time they threw a party, I got blocked in and I had I was stuck at jolt till like three o'clock in the morning. Oh, dude, but just go knock on, no. go ask, be like, does anybody have a Honda Accord? You got what? We're he's towing gonna it ask right now. everybody at the party. No, no you just make an announcement. Anybody have a Honda Accord? We're yeah, towing go, it right go now. DJ booth, be like, and hey, he's not d- actually towing it, but it's like hey, these jitterbugs. They don't get it, bro. These they jitterbugs. Dude, they don't get it, bro. I'm just gonna let it go. These hooligans. A, I, these hooligans. I moved my car, bro. I, I think you could have gotten it out there, especially I, with that stuff that you were telling me before that you wanted to confront people all the time. That's like, come on, Ooh. that's like the moment. Like, nah, nah, get nah, my, I'm buzzing one me, one me, and like. 
five dudes who still <laughs> fuck one it. me. And like five dudes who still beat their meat, and I'll have. To, <laughs> I'm like, what am I gonna do, you should, bro? You should call me. I, yeah, I'm good we'll at, back I'm good you at up, those dude. situations. No, no, I'm good at those situations. No, no, I, I walk in there and be like, hey guys. I'm, I'm pretty intimidating. I work here. I don't know about you, Rafa. <laughs> I work here. Nah, sometimes you just gotta be the bigger man and walk away. Yeah, but that's not, that's not that moment. I mean, to ask somebody to move their car because they're blocking you in, you're allowed to do that. I mean, you know how these kids are nowadays. They're on their TikTok. Move my car. I don't I think I've, I haven't seen that TikTok video yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me to move my car? Being so unreasonable. Call me next I know time. I blocked you in, but come call on. Call me man. next time. It's like, wait, let me get my muscle. And you call me. <laughs> I walk over there. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. You guys up? moving? You guys mind moving a car? <laughs> but it works. I don't know why. I'm, I guess I'm lucky, but when I do those things, I'm always like, oh, my God, are people going to listen to me? And they always do. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? I don't Jesus. know, because people can be dicks. and I feel most people are reasonable, though. They blocked you. And I remember they blocked in uh, a good friend of ours as well, and they immediately were like, oh, oh, don't worry, man, I'll move my car. Yeah. yeah that's, that's usually how it goes. Like When when somebody blocks somebody in, it's like, ah, oh, just they're doing it casually. Like, oh, somebody will ask me, whatever. That's wait, it. wait, is Open Decks this Sunday? Yes, this, this Sunday. Sunday. Oh. This Sunday. Last Sunday, Sunday of the month, January Sunday. 28th. Okay. So yes. Static. I'm actually working on my set for it. You're working on it? Yeah, dude. Damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm pre planning my set. Get in there. I'm pre planning my set. Okay. I was thinking, because either I go vinyl or I go USB, because I don't want to feel like bringing my computer anymore. Yes, do not yes. bring your computer. You'll make my life easier. I mean, easier. do whatever you want, but it sounds like such a hassle. I get more don't creative. Don't bring computers, guys. I was more creative with my computer, because now with all the adjustments that you can make on the software, I kind of fuck with it. You know? But that's just being a nerd. Because now there's like there's software. If there's the songs playing, oh, I just want to hear the vocals. So you press a button. Ooh, oh, dude, so I would good. love that. Or if you dude, just want to hear the drums, guys, the, this is this is gets me. We're never gonna we're not gonna do it because everybody's such a, like a brand loyal whatever, and they're like whatever. But the goddamn new Denon uh, CDJs. Oh, I was about to mention. They that. do stems right off the bat on the thing, and it's like we were looking at them, and we're like, everybody told us don't get them because like. Everybody's like, hey, we just know Pioneer, blah, 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 blah. But they Fuck do, the Pioneer doesn't do that shit. I was going to mention that Pioneer, the rebranding. What are they Oh, yeah, called? Alpha Theta. Alpha Theta. But whatever. Like, they don't have a new product. They, they announced a rebranding for Pioneer, and they're going to call it Alpha Beta. I don't, I've never said Pioneer in my life, so we always just say about CDJs. But what do you the mean? The Denon but ones. usually just always Pioneers. We say, we say the Denon ones are half the price. And they can play two tracks off the same CDJ. Uh, so you you get basically f- uh, if you have two of them, you get f- you can play four, you can mix four things at the same time. Sure. And Let. they do stems Let. off your USB. Like you put your USB with your MP3s on it, and it can rips like it can make stems out of your Inst- tracks instantaneously. Yeah, instantaneously. Nice. So I signed up. For it's this. like I know Pioneer or. Alpha Theta is going to end up doing that on the next CDJs, I bet. But they don't have that yet. And it's like, ugh, the only reason we can't get them, even though they're cheaper and better, is because people will come in here and balk at the fact that, like, it's not the brand that I'm not. <laughs> it's just fucking lame. It's like, are you, a, are you a, do you know how to play music or do you just know the things you know? Damn. Well, like like there's that. two ways to look at it. I feel like some people are just really comfortable with the equipment yeah. slash gear that they, they're used to. Yeah. But that's I feel exactly like that's it. definitely something like Oh no, and not not just not comfortable. Good. They also are like snobby about it. Sure, yeah. I feel the snobby part. But you have to be ready to play on anything like exactly. That. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like vinyl, USB, C D. I remember the one time I DJed. Remember you the know movie? how to DJ with CDs? Yeah, dude. Sorry. And CD's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I started off with CDs, dude. Before nice. how the, old are you, dude? Old Fucking enough. Old enough. We old have enough. CDs in these things. You know, I right? know. Yeah. yeah. I think they don't make them with CD ports anymore. No, right? I mean, no. Yeah. no, they stopped doing it. You know, it was like I saw a big act. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard of Dada Life. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. yeah They're so, French, right? Uh, so I think the French or Swedish, one of the two, European. Yeah. Let's go with that. Yo, I saw them play once in uh orlando what happened to them do they still i think so 
But you know, they did a whole DJ set in Orlando and they did it on CDs. And I was like fucking mesmerized because I know USB culture existed, but I think Pioneer hasn't had the technology ready for it. Yeah. That's why we have the CDJs that we have now. Uh-huh. But like, I kind of like that, you know, the nice US uh, CD rip. You know? Sure, dude. Why not? I mean, it's just kind of not something common. I think who is it that does that here? Uh, Chris. Chris, every once in a while, brings CDs. Yeah. 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 Good times. Good times. Well, I think time capsules over, 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 over. You're, you're gonna it's over when you say it's over. I, have a guess I just said it's over. Capsule? We can keep talking, but I mean, let's I let's I end this. Uh, I want to keep on this, drinking this this little. This little part. This little part. I like that it happened at the end. You know why? Because when we post the mix, because the because the music comes at the beginning and then this comes at the end. Yeah. Whoever's listening, like, doesn't have to go like dig through it. It starts right off with the music, and then at the end is the talking. Yeah. Honestly, if you want to bring that back for another show, it's a good idea. I think you should do it. Yeah, do it. I always wanted to, but there's never. But you also have People to come with like a couple of topics. Talk with me. You also have to come with a couple. Topics. I kind of today, I like I said, I was just kind of free, Lucy, free balling Friday, free balling Fridays. Yeah. Also helps no one's going after you right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah going month. after me, like in your normal times. So well, it's Jolt someone after, after you. I think it's Jake, oh right? yeah. Well, this is I did it kind of. It's still my show right now. I just no. I mean your normal slot. Yeah, it's this is part of the, the slot, so I could have still done it. And Jude said he was going to come, but. Slots. You know, Jude. Whatever. He's probably seeing some You'll schnitzel. be here when he, he's here. Got some schnitzel to cook up. Just All right. Anyway. You want to wrap it up? Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to Time Capsule. I did it today, but it's usually uh, every third Monday of the month at 730. Um, Fantastic show You know today. where to yeah. find me. Come here. Go on the website. Whatever. You can call us. I won't I, answer the phone, but... <laughs> I think we're going to put the phone back in the studio. Um, Mark was saying that, and I was like, we should have never moved it out of here. We should just leave it right next to the deck. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You never know when you need it, man. Yeah. I'll uh, answer it mid-set. I really did like your set today, so awesome. Thanks. Fantastic. Okay. All right. That's it. Uh, maybe Jolt After Dark comes back in about five minutes or so. We'll see what happens. All right. Ciao. Oh, radio. See ya. Peace.